right, wheel of weird. What's today's weird? Come at me. Let's do this. What is it? Come on. Come on. Um. Forgot that was on the list. A little worried about that one. Wait. That's kind of a big deal, isn't it? It's like a full-on time-consuming survival thing. Uh-oh, what have I done? Oh no. You probably shouldn't be on the list at all. How do you... Is this even Let's Tryable? Only one way to find out. Alright, so I get the feeling this might be like woefully in it. Uh, let's get that over there. There we go. This uh, may be a woefully, woefully inadequate coverage of this game. But you know what? They email me a lot saying, uh, are you going to cover our game? So, I mean, they want it. But, uh, oh boy, an open world survival game. I don't know how, I don't know how, like, let's try friendly this is going to be. These games take, like, this is a genre that takes, like, five hours just to get started sometimes, let alone, uh... That one, sure. Difficulty settings? Sure. What could go wrong, right? Oh, there's two starting places. Well, that one's pretty, so let's go to that one. 30 minutes or less. <laughs> like a pizza. It's not really entirely accurate, but okay. Default random. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna be flailing so hard, because it's a goddamn... The these are the types of games where you, well, not half the time we're playing it with like Wander and everyone, where like our multiplayer group gets together for this genre a lot. You have to like get together to like look at 50 Wikipedia pages and play and uh, self tutorialize for like 12 hours before you really understand what's happening. So I'll give it a go. <laughs> but it's a space survival game. In fact, some people, this is a game that came up a lot uh, when No Man's Sky came up, came out, because everyone's like, this isn't even like a real video game with No Man's Sky. They don't even do anything, what the fuck? Uh, and, uh, and a very frequent game people would compare it to was Empyrean Galactic Survival, which is the same genre, technically. You are approaching planet Tazunia. Steal your escape pod to a safe spot. Oh, the rest of the text went away. All right. I'd, yeah, I'd probably recommend steering myself towards the water. I mean, away from the water. So I can, uh, you know, land. Don't know if, I don't know, I might have needed to go for the water to not die when I crash. I'm not sure. The message went away before I could finish reading it. New point of interest, small wreckage. Yeah, let's go land by that wreckage and be a small, uh, we'll make a second smaller wreckage by the small wreckage. Yeah. <laughs> so right off the bat, you can tell that we have food meter, stamina meter, uh, health meter. There's an oxygen indicator that's blue. That might be the ones that turn red when they get worse. Let's see if I die instantly or not. That's probably a good sign. I'm fine. Ah, briefing. Message received. You're alive, IDA. I can barely hear you in my comm. Where's my suit? Integrated data assistant at your command. Your suit has been destroyed in your escape. I am currently hosted in the capsule's failsafe system. Do you remember what happened? No, my head is pounding. What happened after pulling the trigger for hyperspace? Not sure. It seems we actually made it into hyperspace and to Andromeda as far as I can tell. What about the fleet? Signal lost. No signatures in our area. No, con no contact to Alex as well. I am afraid. And speaking and, and using having a lowercase I. Oh boy, this day is getting better and better. Not. That's the all right. That's the script of this game. Great. <laughs> we have typos. We don't. They don't know how to capitalize eyes and and they ended a they ended a sentence with not. <laughs> all right. Follow the instructions IDA sent you. They will be displayed in your helmet view on the right side of the screen. Your PDA F1 has all necessary information and details. 
the Imperopedia <laughs> will uh, supply additional info. Okay. Let's go. Check pod inventory. Cool. I have water. Cool. I have an energy bar, survival tool. Used for moving, repairing, changing, rotating, and upgrading blocks. Flashlight, other stuff, cool. Oh, I can do left shift plus F to sleep inside of that thing until morning. That's interesting. Check inventory. Is that I? No, tab. Oh, he looks happy to be here. <laughs> he looks very happy to be here. So here's my inventory. It exists, sure. Uh, you're not wearing any protective suit. Outside temperatures have a strong effect on you. Remember, at night you can sleep eight hours in the escape pod in a survival tent. For as an example, when night is getting too cold. Uh, okay. Uh, right now it's 98 degrees Fahrenheit, which isn't that bad. I mean, it's not comfortable, but it, I mean, it's my real life. <laughs> like today uh, explore the area around the crash site and pick up plants and fruits you can you can eat all right cool ow uh, that's not one of them okay aha plant protein open PDA f1 all right oh boy okay first click on the headline that says personal log file on the list of the left uh, where does that say? Oh, the next one there? Okay. Uh, next wait for this message message to vanish, then click PDA info. Oh, it went away. <laughs> Alright. Uh, click? Is it not already clicked? PDA info. Cool. Open PDA F1. It's my past, I guess. Uh, farewell party with the team tonight. Hope Alex is coming over as well. Ah, my head. What a hell of a night. Alex sent me a memo that we will meet up with the rest of the fleet at Rendezvous Point Alpha for the final Andromeda departure preparations. The eggheads in the lab want me to check a security breach in the station's engine rooms, and their lasers are malfunctioning. Again. Picked up an unknown material in a container next to the main core. Strange energy signature. Who's put this here? Managed to get to a save point. What happened? Dropped the specimen in the lab. Then all hell broke loose. Alien soldiers and creatures spawning throughout the station, trying to get the people off the station. Leaving the station with the last freighter, heading towards rendezvous point. I am late. Alex and the team have already moved to the Titan in Jumper and Juniper, uh, not Juniper, in Jupiter orbit. I'll try to get there with a short warp jump, fingers crossed. That's bad. Jumped, and then nothing. This is not Jupiter. Several contacts approaching the ship. These are not UCH vessels, and they are blasting the ship to pieces. I'll try to get an escape capsule. Boarding parties have entered the ship. Same soldiers as in the station in Terra Orbit. Fights destroyed my suit, and no spare suit available. Managed to transfer IDA to the capsule. Time to leave. From the capsule's windows, I can see an enormous field of debris where I came out of hyperspace. What is happening here? Where am... Log end. I start to remember the details. It does explain what happened, but not why. Anyway, my gut feeling says I'll find out soon. I'm gonna check out this wreckage. Seems like a good... Sp oh! We jumped very high, because we're apparently on a low-gravity planet. Cool. Tracking an unidentified distress signal. Is it this? I'm level two now, I guess. All right, there's a lot of notifications happening in this game. I'm probably missing half of them. Bit curious about this wreckage. Oopsie. That's a bad fault. All right, can I climb this stuff up or what? Uh, okay, jumping feels very odd. 
Got it. All right, I'm on top. Not that useful. That one's all blown up. This one looks... Oh, that one's kind of blown up looking too. I don't know, it looks kind of intact. Let's see, is there a spot on this thing that can you can loot? There you go. Detox kit. Gives you 250 health. Antibiotic infection. Effective against sepsis, infected wound, necrosis, open wound, dermal burn, frostbite. This is indigestion, food poisoning, poisonous bite, intoxication, fever attack, organ failure. And stomach pin <laughs> stomach pills for indigestion. Cool. I'm gonna put the survival tool on my bar. That seems like it makes sense. And we'll see everything else as we go. Alright. There's my escape pod. They want me to find the distress signal. Ah, that one? I'll give it a go. It's only like 500 feet of- oops, silicon deposit. Sure. How did I discover that? It says I discovered it, but how? There's- These are so far away. How good is my scanner? God damn. Also, is that- is that wreckage definitely the distress signal, or could I be wrong? Oh, that's my- That's what it sounds like. That's- that's what your heartbeat sounds like in this game. Uh, apparently it happens if you sprint too much. If you look at my little running meter, it's down to zero. I think jumping's making me go faster, and it doesn't seem to affect my stamina. But it gives me something to do besides just holding W the entire time. There's just deposits everywhere, huh? They're all further away than the wreckage is, though. Search through the wreckage and pick up everything you can find. There should be a locker or personal container or similar inside. That's probably it. Nope. Yeah. What? How... How... How much can this motorbike fold up? It says it folds into a... In an energy save mode, but holy crap, how did it fit in a little box here? It's a whole motorbike. If I... So it'll go into energy save mode if I, if I leave it around for five minutes. And if I leave it around for 25 minutes, it'll disappear. Otherwise, you want to just pick it up. Put it in your inventory. Portable container to be used for crafting. Very limited number of templates available. Very slow. <clears throat> slow crafting speed. I think it's all one continuous inventory there. Alright. Or anything up, like up higher? A data pad you found in the wreckage revealed the position of a tower-like building, which might reveal more information about your situation. Consider building a light armor suit, some better weapons like a pistol or shotgun, and appropriate ammo before going there. So they're warning me that if I go there, danger will happen. And that's... somewhere? That way. Two kilometers, holy crap. Alright. Well, I don't really have a base yet. Maybe I should just be... use it here? Nope. Maybe this is a good place to have my base. Plop a tent down or something next to the wreckage. It's not really letting me. Here could work. In this little nook right here. I can, sl I can sleep here until morning. I can probably pick it up too. Ooh. Oh yeah, it works. Well, that's neat. A working vehicle. Got a good speed to it, too. Or definitely faster than what I was before. Don't hit that. Uh, does it have limited fuel? I don't see any fuel indicator anywhere on the screen. Alright, you just sit there for a bit. I'll figure out how to do crafting. And maybe five minutes from now, we'll get to see what it looks like when it folds up. If it takes me that long. Tent 
templates. I think I'm going to want to look at weapons. Weapons and items. Multi-tool. Shotgun. It's locked. Chainsaw drill. Projectile pistol. Mechanical components five. Uh, this is where things are going to get complicated, huh? Um, how do I craft an item exactly? Did I make it? It went into the queue. It has a crafting time of 32 seconds, but I need the mechanical po components. Uh, building blocks. Components. Cool. So, mechanical components? Is that one of the things in here? That. Input item, steel plate one. Cool. So I need a steel plate. For steel plate, I need iron ingot two. Cool. So, I must, I must, this is iron ingot ore. Okay, so five ore is one iron ingot. So five ore is one ingot. One plate is two ingots. So one plate is 10 ore. Mechanical compo component is one plate. So if I want to make a gun, I need 50 ore. Then I need bullets for it. Copper ingot. And nitrocellulose. What the hell is that? I'm not sure what to think about that, so I'm just going to search around for a bit. Nitrocellulose. Plant fibers. Okay, cool. So I need 50 iron ingots, some a bunch of some copper too, and then plant or... Uh, ooh. It looks like a perfect dark gun. Like, a lot like a perfect dark gun. Okay. Just to be sure, this is... Can I use that for mining, though? It says removing blocks. Uh, is there a tools menu? Devices. Weapons and items. Drill. Mining resources. But that requires mechanical components, too. I think this might work for now. I think you might be able to get a better thing later. Like that drill. My first objective, I just want to try to see if I can get some weaponry, go after that tower, check that out, and then that'll be like a nice little closing spot for this episode. And then it'll be put on hold, because this is a let's try. Maybe someday in the future I'll feel like doing a series on this, but it's not really my thing usually for a solo. But uh, we do talk sometimes about doing Empyrean on our list of potential uh, multiplayer things, but we're rather preoccupied at the moment. But the Wheel of Fate chose this game today. Uh, not super sure how to deal with the fact that that seems to be underground. Uh, defense mode. And also harvest wood. Salvage. Rock drill. Ooh. Does not pick up ores automatically. in rock drill mode, right? I think this will work if I can find the ore, but right now the ore is underground. Might just need to find a better ore. Or a cave that leads me there. Copper deposit. You can't rotate your camera. Once you're on a vehicle, you're kind of stuck like this. A little hard to look around. Yeah, I'm not totally sure how to get to that one. Uh, let's try this copper deposit I found. Do a jump. Yeah. <laughs> not really. But still. An attempt was made. Giant skeleton? Turn, the turn speed is unacceptable in this vehicle. It's so slow. 
I don't understand how a motorcycle could have... Okay, oh, the deposits are all underground. Crap. This is really gonna hurt my ability to do anything this episode. If I can't figure out how to even reach deposits. This is more or less my experience with every game in this genre, though. Is when I first hop into it, I'm like, I, I can't tell how to do anything. Oh no. One of the upsides of multiplayer is being confused with friends, at the very least. And then maybe collectively you'll figure things out. Oh, look at the aliens. Do they attack? Or are they just neat? Are you attacking me or running away? Oh, what are you? You're freaky looking. Look at them. The creepy little mouths. Yeah, they don't like me. Yeah, all the iron deposits are underground. Here's an idea I probably should have thought of sooner. Since this isn't panning out. What if I can mine uh, the wreckage itself? Oh no. Is the wreckage not on my... Oh no. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's weird looking. Hey. Natural sweetener. <laughs> Alright. Uh, problem, guys. The... I think... Th is there a map? There's a map. Okay. Uh... Wreckage. Escape pod. Small wreckage. That one. Uh... Waypoints. There we go. There we go. I was a little worried I wasn't gonna be able to find it again because I realized that it wasn't one of the default waypoints. Uh... It's that w Oh yeah, wreckage. There it is. Okay. At the moment of panic, I'm like, oh crap, this is my... It's my waypoint's not on my list. I need that... <gasps> dinosaur? Wait, that's just a dinosaur. What? Wait, there's just straight-up dinosaurs in this game? These aren't even aliens. These are just dinosaurs. Sup? How you doing? How you doing? Am I spooking you? Look at that! Straight up Triceratops. Huh. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I didn't know I was getting into a game that actually had straight up dinosaurs in it. Like, not even like an alien variant, it's just dinosaurs. Alright. Cool, bye. I need to get back to the wreckage because it's gonna get dark. Now, 55 degrees. It's a fairly pretty game. Oh, the sun- this- this, uh... This thing in my eyes is a bit much right now. Okay, what was that? This- this is the fastest you can turn in this vehicle. That's not- It seems not accurate to motorcycles. What did I see? I lost it, kinda, because I couldn't turn around fast enough. Uh, there it is. Oh, it keeps going a bit. All right. Hey. Buds. All right. Big alien flower. But yeah, I should have tried to drill the actual wreckage itself to see if I could get the metal out of that. That seems like a reasonable thing to try, and I did not. Let's give you a go. You cannot damage the target with this weapon. Alright, well that's not a good sign. Well, let's sleep till morning. First I should pick you up. 
There we go. You can only sleep at night. Apparently it's not nighttime yet. Okay. Base starter. A st starting block for your base? Okay. So far my meters are doing fine. Like it's becoming, it's going to sundown and I'm not even really that hungry yet. I'm sorry guys, this genre is a little impenetrable. <laughs> I'm just looking at this stuff, I'm like, I don't even know how to start. How do I dig underground? And if I can't dig underground yet, which might be at, which might be true, if I, if I can't dig underground because I need proper drilling equipment, then how do I get metal components? There must be some other way to get metal components? Does that sound mean it's now nighttime? There we go. Well, I've largely failed, but you know what? This thing has defense mode. So I'm setting phasers to stun. And by stun, I mean kill. I'm just gonna go straight towards that turret. That town. The tower. I was supposed to make armor and weapons first, but you know what? This is a one-off video. Let's go see the evil alien place full of enemies. Oh god, don't go in the water. I don't think that's a good idea. I'm gonna go die against the enemies. And you get, get one little last look at things. I know it's not the, not the most comprehensive look at the game, but hey, exposure and all that. So if you guys are watching this video and you're like, hey, I want to check out that game, then there'll be a link to the Steam page in the description. That's, that's how this works. It's pretty much this, or I continue to have a key in my, in my uh, Steam library that I, I, I don't cover. And that sucks. One kilometer to go. That's right, I'm using kilometers and Fahrenheit. Fer <laughs> I think the difference is that I'm, I'm from a country that uses Fahrenheit. So I'm much more used to thinking in terms of Fahrenheit and it means more to me. But honestly, like, when it comes to distances, I'm not really that good at, at visualizing distances anyway. Especially in a, when I'm zooming around in a video game at speeds and routes that aren't really applicable to real life anyway, usually. So, generally speaking, what's most useful to me is just being able to uh, tell which things are, cl are closer, closest to me and stuff like that. And just have a number that goes up and down. They could use made-up units and I wouldn't even notice. Hello, cool alien tower. How dead am I going to be around here? There's a strong signal from inside the tower. Oopsie. Definitely stop first or bad happens. Got it. Plus one motorbike. Oh, I still have the motorbike selected, so it's like that. It's my death laser of death. Find signal emitter. Whoa, hello, look at that. Die, aliens. That's interesting looking over there, isn't it? Well, I kind of thought they would attack me. Is there a way to get up there? I didn't really plan for this. This idea that there'd be just a, a weird tower that... Oh wait, can I go up this? <clears throat> oh cool, radiation. Now I can be extra dead. It's a trap. The shaft has been blocked by massive plates. The building material... I, I couldn't read that because I went away too fast. There's low energy current and a lever somewhere close to you. Push yourself against its already cracked walls. See if you can break through. If there's a lever. Use it till it activates. Ah. Okay, um. What the fuck? Um. Symbols are unknown. They seem to have heavily weathered. The tower must be very old. It is not an active system of any kind. Maybe a grave or a memorial. One symbol group on the panels is repeated over and over again. A name or a location. Inscriptions were saved for later translation. And something happened behind the red panel. Stay away from it. Re registering strong energy fluctuations. What the? <clears throat> um. 
And enemy creatures at your location. Okay. That's bad. Hunt them down before they catch you. There's a little bit of a contradiction a little bit. Die, 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 die. Yeah. Making some weird sounds here. You cannot damage the target with this weapon? Shit. So much for that plan. It looks like a fruit bat? Looks like a fruit bat enemy. Did I overheat this thing? I think I did. My objective is to kill the creatures. I don't know if that's gonna happen, honestly. Maybe if I run them over? With <laughs> my motorcycle? It'll be easy. Run their asses over. What, how does anything have this slow of a turning radius? This is impossible. I don't care if you have to remake the entire game. Make this motorcycle more, more fun to use. <laughs> Please. Die. Oh, that didn't work at all. <laughs> also, he didn't notice I was here. Well, there we go. Well, that was that was a, a neat little cinematic intro. That little weird trap we fell into and then the monsters attack. That was more exciting than I thought it was going to be. Anyway, guys, I think this is a decent place to cut it. Especially since I'm kind of inept anyway. Oh, God. Okay, let's just go into the ocean. This is good. Knowing oxygen, wearing your helmet might help. Oh, cool, I didn't lose my motorcycle. Oh no, not mo not no oxygen. Wait, dude. Can you not swim? Are you serious? Oh shit. Well, this is how I die. Apparently you can't swim in this game. That's not good. Yep, there it goes. Oh cool, my screen's just red now. Alright, well I guess I did die after all. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching that. Go away. I'll see you next time. And if you want to check out this game, there's a link in the description. As per usual, I have this guy. I have access to the game because a key was provided by the developer. See you guys later.